What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be going over how to make a custom keyboard layout in Windows 10. Now to get started, we are going to want to go into our settings. You can do that by right clicking start and going to settings, or by normally clicking start and clicking this cog right here for settings. Once you are in settings, you want to go to time and language, then language, and you want to go down here to choose an input method to always use as default. And then make sure that the use the desktop language bar when it's available is checked. After you have all that sorted, you need to go to the link in the description for the Microsoft Keyboard Layout Creator. Go ahead and open that up, and it should take you to this. Now I don't have my internet turned on, so let me fix this problem right quick. Okay, so now that I have that sorted, it should load up this page. It is going to be the Microsoft Keyboard Layout Creator 1.4, or if they come out with a new version, which I doubt that they will, we are going to go ahead and press download. It's a small download, it shouldn't take very long. And then once we have that downloaded, we're going to go ahead and open up the file. Go ahead and click yes on the shield. And then you should see the extractor. Press setup. And then you'll get the wizard. Now I already have installed the keyboard layout creator, so I'm just going to repair mine and press finish. We'll go through the installation process and then you can press close. So after you have that sorted, we can go ahead and open up the keyboard layout creator. Press start. You can find it under the M for Microsoft Keyboard Layout Creator or you can search Keyboard Layout Creator. So once you're in here, you will see a blank keyboard. Now you could create one from scratch going through and typing in the, uh, the letters and numbers for each one, but that would take a lot of time. So we're gonna go ahead and just use an existing keyboard. Go to file and load existing keyboard. So after that comes up, you can go ahead and go to the US keyboard. Now my US custom US numbers and US the are ones that I've made in the past. You are going to just find the one that says US. Press OK. We're going to go ahead and clear the one that we had before. And now you have this layout. So if you want to change something, for example, if you wanted to change the one button, all you have to do is left click on it. This little menu should pop up and I'm gonna go ahead and change it to the letter P. Next, you can right click and you can change the properties in shift states. So for this, this is the key two. And as we can see, if we just press that key, we get the number two. If we shift and press that key, we get the at symbol. We can also change what happens when we control alt that key and shift control alt that key. So I'm going to go ahead and change what happens when I control alt that key, and I'm just going to type in a word. Press OK. And as we can see, whenever we click right here and control alt, we have the number two button showing as word. So once we are happy with our layout, we go to file, save source file as, click on the yes, and we get this menu right here. So I would not suggest changing the name as the program is going to make sure that it will not conflict with any other layouts that you have. In the description, go ahead and name it. So I'm going to type in US numbers because I changed the numbers and press OK. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my S because I already have one named numbers. This is just US number. Press OK. And then we rename it again, US dash number for me. You can name this anything that you want and press save. Now, after you press save, you're going to want to go to project, 
build DLL and set up package. You're going to see this. It made a log. Now, you don't really need to see the log. If you want to, you can press yes. It's just going to pull up this. It doesn't tell you much, and you can just press X. You do want to open this directory, however, and then this folder should show up. Now, sometimes you can get away with just running the setup right here, or you can figure out which one of these three work for you. So I'm going to try to press setup right now, and we're going to see if that works for me. It did not. Actually, yes, it did. So you go ahead and click yes on the shields, and it says installation complete. But like I said, if that doesn't work, then you can try one of these three. Sometimes they will all work, sometimes only one will work. Um, if you click on one that does not work, it will give you an error message. Just go to the next one. If that one doesn't work, go to the next one. So after you have that installed, you can close out of that, and you can close out of that. In order to make sure that you are using your new keyboard, you want to go down to the start menu and again go into settings. Once you are in your settings, again go to time and language and go to language again. And then under preferred language, you want to click on your default and click on options. Once you are in options, you should see two keyboards down here the default keyboard, and your new keyboard. So you want to make sure that you are using your new keyboard, click on your default, and remove it from the list. This can easily be added again by clicking on add a keyboard and finding the one that you were using before, which for me is right here. So once you know that your keyboard is the only one on the list, you can go ahead and exit out and test your keyboard. Sometimes you will have to restart your PC before it takes an effect. Just keep that in mind. So as we can see, I am typing the one, but it is giving me P's. And then for twos, if I control alt and press two, it gives me word. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was uh, enjoyable for, to watch. And uh, if you'd like, then leave a like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching.